much. No. Don't let it be on camera. But the other side is. See, but I think it's good. Like yeah. It's definitely good. It's all the time. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was. I'd like to keep your life separate. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
mother and father. He saw the little boy who was three years old going on four. And he asked him, would you like to take a trip up to the cockpit? Needless to say, this little boy was thrilled to bits. The pilot picked him up, took him down to the cockpit of the plane. Come on in folks, it's alright. <laughs> he gave him the grand tour of the cockpit and showed him all the things that the pilot has to do. This little boy was totally enthralled. The pilot finally brought him back, put him down in the lap of his parents. The little boy's eyes were as big as saucers. They grinned from ear to ear, totally enthralled with what he had just experienced. And a few minutes later, he told his parents that he was one day going to become a pilot. I'm sure in this gathering this evening, there are parents, grandparents, who have had little children say to them, they would like to become a movie star, an astronaut, whatever it might be. And I'd like to think that each and every one of you would encourage that child, whatever aspirations they had at that time, no matter whether it ever materializes or not. The journey continued, and the plane finally touched down at JFK. The plane was unloaded, a young family was standing there at the edge of the curb. Husband, a wife, three children, a dog, bundle of suitcases, and several trunks. It was obvious they could never have flown from JFK to North Carolina. They could never afford the excess baggage. So the decision had been made that they would get to Penn Station take the train down to Wilson, North Carolina. This took two taxis to get from JFK to Penn Station. One with the wife and the children, one with the husband and all the luggage. The young wife gets to Penn Station with her three children and the dog. A few minutes later, the husband arrives, all the luggage is unloaded. And there they are, standing at Penn Station. I'd like to take a few seconds to just imagine how that young lady felt, and her husband probably too, for she has recalled this story many times, standing there at a railroad station in a new country, totally unprepared, with her husband, her three children, and her dog, and what was, at that point in time, all her worldly possessions. She thought to herself, my God, what have I done? But she didn't really have time to, to dwell on this subject because they didn't have long to get on the train. They had to make their way as quickly as they could down to the platform.